Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Kids Times. Now we have many kinds of animals in the world, right? We have land animals like cheetahs and lions and tigers and elephants and we have water animals like turtles, some kind of turtles, fish, sharks, dolphins, whales, these are water animals and land animals. However, there are some special animals that can live in water and on the land. They can live there, uh, you know, right in the middle, like in, as a balance, right? So we call those animals amphibians. They can live in water and on land. Do you have a pet in your house? Like a dog, maybe a cat? A dog plays with us in a room, but a fish lives in a fishbowl. We cannot play with the fish, <clears throat> it's just in the fishbowl, but we can play with the dog, right? Some animals live on land and others live in water. Then, where does a frog live? We see these frogs, where do they live? Are they living only in the water or on the land? What's going on here? Remember the last place you saw a frog. If you ever saw a frog, <clears throat> Where did you see it? Try to think about it, all right? Was it near a tree or was it near a pond? So think back when you saw a frog, was it on the floor, near the water, was it on the tree? Frogs, however, live both on land and in water. They live pretty much everywhere. When young, when it's very like a baby turtle, it's called a tadpole, it lives as a tadpole in the water. So we see these here. This is the egg and this is the young frog. And this here is called the tadpole. It's when they're a little different, right? These are called tadpoles. This is called a frog. So the baby frog is called a tadpole. When it grows, right, it's getting bigger, it lives on land near the water so not far from the water but next to the water but it's on land right so the water is very close in water it breathes through gills and on land it breathes using a lung so in this young stage they're called tadpoles right they are living in the water so how do they breathe they have something called gills. Only fish have these things, right? They have gills. However, on land here, they have lungs. You and I, we have lungs here. That is our lung, right? So we cannot go in the water and we, we will die in the water because we need gills. And they have gills and then later they change, they change to lungs. It's quite amazing. We call frogs amphibians. So this word here, it means both inside the water and on the land, like some turtles and some frogs, amphibians. Toads and salamanders are also amphibians. Toads are, they look like frogs, but they're a lot bigger and their color is different and they're bumpier. And salamanders, they are kind of like lizards or like geckos or chameleons. They move around they, uh, very fast. All right. We have three questions here. First one, in water, a frog breathes through. So breathing is this. How do they breathe? So in the water, right? These guys, they are in the water. How do they breathe? Do they have lungs? No, only land animals have lungs, right? Fish like sharks and you know like tuna and these tadpoles, they have something special, it's on their neck, it's called a gill, right? So you don't have a gill. Don't go in the water and try to breathe because you don't have gills. Fish and tadpoles have gills, they breathe through in the water. B, on land, it breathes using blank. So this big guy here, and you and I, we have this over here, it's very big, and we call it lungs. So this is for breathing. 
in the water and this is for on land and you and I and elephants and cheetahs and lions we have lungs to breathe air. C. Toads and salamanders are also blank. So toads they look like frogs and salamanders they look like lizards. So what do they all have in common? Toads, salamanders and this guy here. What is the same about them? Well, it's that they live in water and on land. So we have a word for that, if you remember. It starts with an A. Amphib. It is amphibians. So you and I, we are not amphibians. We cannot live in the water. It's impossible. All right. We have final three grammar questions here. A. Some animals live blank land and others live in water. So these kinds of words, we call them preposition words. Preposition words. It's telling us where, 어디에, 위에, 안에, 옆에, 아래, 위에. Right? So we're talking on, which is on like this. At is sort of right next to it. And in is inside something, right? So we want to say 땅 위에. So we want to say on land. Inland is 땅 안에, at land is 땅 에, and on land is 땅 위에, right? So B, when young, it lives blank, a tadpole in water. So when it is young, we want to say 태드폴 같이 산다, 물 안에서 어릴 때, right? So 태드폴 같이, we want to say as a tadpole. For a tadpole, then it means tadpole viezo uh sanda or by a tadpole, tadpole yopezo sanda. We wanna say as tadpole kachi sanda, right? They are a tadpole. See, we blank fro frogs amphibians. <clears throat> so we is talking about Uri. We're talking about many, many people, right? So when we have many, many people, s 동사에다가 we don't put the s. So we say we eat, we play, right? We don't say we eat, no, no. We plays, we don't say that. We just say eat, play, when we say we, right? So again, we, we have to cancel that s, right? So we already know it's calling or call. Which one is it? So, when we use call, the original verb, it means 언제나. 언제나 amphibian으로 부른다, right? Calling is a 특별한 time. We are calling them now, calling them before, calling them later. So when we have, when we have calling, we're talking about a special time or 특별한 시간, right? So, 전체적으로 언제나 we use the original form of the verb. So, we call frogs amphibians. Why is S wrong? Because we, we don't put the S, right? It's always we call, no S, we eat, all right? So, thank you for joining us for Kids Times. My name's Chris from Reading Town. I'll see you next time.